Hi, let me talk about one of my favorite topics, which is using data and numbers. Because otherwise in investment analysis, you hear all sorts of stories from the media, from friends, from here, there. But ultimately there is only one test. Is it borne out by data? Because numbers tell a story. For example, someone tells you this company has a great brand. Where does it show up? Are they able to get more market share? Do their volumes not decline when everybody else's volumes decline? Do they have greater pricing power, higher margins? What do they have? And sometimes the, you know, once you do the analysis, the results can be a little unexpected. Many years ago, we did this analysis of FMCG companies in India as well as their global parents. So, you know, Hindustan Lever versus uh, Unilever or Procter & Gamble India versus Procter & Gamble uh, overseas. And the results were very interesting in that the global companies, actually the brand showed up in higher pricing power, higher margins. But on the other hand, they were selling to organized retail like Walmart and had to give credit there. So, you know, the working capital was not that great. In India, it was the reverse. In spite of the brand, you may not have been able to charge higher prices is because the consuming population didn't have the capacity to pay so the margins were not very high but the distribution system was unorganized where you had branding power so that the distributors were paying you in advance so the big FMCG companies actually had negative working capital now of course the picture has changed again the Indian FMCG companies have higher margins but the pressures are now beginning to show on working capital which will only intensify as they buyers which is the retailers become more organized so again the numbers are telling you a story so the next few videos I'll give you a few more fascinating examples of how this works